Hello, everyone. This is Karen. Hey, everybody. I am Shane. Today we're looking at part two of walking on the sky in Bolivia, and the vocabulary words are luxury. Luxury. Jessica couldn't wait to show off her new luxury apartment to her friends. What a show off! <laughs> <laughs> revenge.、Right. Revenge. The woman swore that she would get revenge on her enemies. <laughs> oh oh. Transportation. Transportation. Transportation around here is not as convenient compared to the big city. True. True.、Mm -hmm. Roughly. Roughly. It takes roughly four hours to drive to my hometown from here. Oh wow, that's pretty far.、Mm. <gasps> definitely. Definitely. I will definitely need your help to finish this project. You got it. Yay! Thank you. So the project I think is going to Bolivia. <gasps> Wow! And learning about Bolivia, this beautiful place, right? So, besides natural beauty、mm -hmm. that we learned about last time, what can we expect if we go to Bolivia? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. there's lots more to see.、Ah. The capital of Bolivia is called La Paz. Oh, that's right. And this is where you can see like the luxury hotels,、mm. but yet you can still see some Spanish colonial style、oh. buildings. This is where the past and the future meet. Oh, wow! Wow, sounds、mm. really nice. And another cool、oh. place、What? is that there's a thing called the witches market. <laughs> oh wow! So you can get like magic, do magic stuff there, right? Like you can buy like love potion,、Ooh. or you can、uh, I don't know cast a spell or something to get revenge. Yeah, I like it. Another really cool thing about there is it's the highest capital city in the world. Okay. So if you want to get around there, you don't take a bus or a taxi. Then what do you do? Take cable cars. <gasps> no way. Yeah. So you can take cable cars from the bottom of the mountain. Up to the top to get around to the different neighborhoods. So while you're getting around, you can enjoy the beautiful view of Bolivia. Right? That sounds so cool. <gasps> you know what? I'm really going there. I am too. All right. All let's right. go to. Are you going? Bolivia. We'll see you there. We'll go together. All right. Walking on the sky in Bolivia. Not everything to do in Bolivia is in the wild. La Paz is where the past and the future meet. There are luxury hotels just around the corner from Spanish colonial-style buildings. Businessmen wear suits, while native Bolivians dress in colorful skirts and bowler hats. Though it is often called magical for its beauty, the city also offers some real magic. In the witches' market, you can buy love potions, medicine that's claimed to cure any sickness, and even revenge spells. They may not work, but you'll certainly be spellbound while you shop. Today's lesson is called "Walking on the Sky in Bolivia," Part Two. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. And yes, we've learned that walking on the sky in Bolivia it actually means walking on the、uh, very reflective, flat salt flats that they have there. They have these places where there's water on a very flat, almost desert-like floor. And when you stand there, and the water reflects the sky up in the air, it looks like you are walking on the sky. But it doesn't mean people in Bolivia can actually fly and you know walk through the air. No, no, no. But it does look very cool. It looks like you're walking on the sky. Yeah, it's amazing. Anyways, Bolivia. Is a great place.、Hmm. There are beautiful landscapes to take in and to observe, but there's also great cities there too. Yes, not everything to do in Bolivia is in the wild. You're not always going to be in the wild in forests and parks. You're not always going to be amongst nature. No, no, no. La Paz is where the past. And the future meet、mm. La Paz, the capital of Bolivia. I believe there used to be two capitals, La Paz、mm. and also Sucre. Ah,、oh, very interesting. But La Paz is the capital. I think it's the biggest city, too, right? Where the、mm. government meets, and of course, where you would probably arrive if you're traveling to the country. What would we find in La Paz? Well, it says there are luxury hotels just around the corner from Spanish colonial-style buildings. So a bit of the old, a bit of the new. The colonial-style buildings. We'll go back to when the Spanish. 
controlled this part of the world. But of course, today for the modern traveler, they have luxury hotels. You can stay at a four or five star hotel, uh, no yeah, problem. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm I'm a modern traveler, Mike. But yes. When I travel, I, I can't stay in luxury hotels. Why? Luxury hotels are very expensive. They are. If you go to a luxury hotel, you're going to spend a lot of money. You will. But while you're there, you'll have the best of everything. Anyways, when we're talking about luxury items, we're talking about very expensive items that you don't necessarily need. They might make your life more comfortable, but do you need them? No. So a luxury hotel might be something like the Mandarin Oriental. A luxury car brand might be Maserati or Mercedes or something like that. That's what we're talking about in this case. For example, Jessica couldn't wait to show off her new luxury apartment to her friends. Yeah, look, I've got beautiful couches and crystal chandelier light fixtures. It's quite the place. But very expensive, Extremely too. expensive, but, uh, but, but quite comfortable. All right, so there you go. But it is showing us that La Paz is a modern city. And if you do want those special comforts that a luxury hotel will give you, you can find that, too. Let's look at what the local people might be wearing, might, uh, might look like. It says, businessmen wear suits. Okay. While native Bolivians dress in colorful skirts and bowler hats. Yeah, that's a very interesting part of the native dress in Bolivia. I think also a little bit in Ecuador, Colombia. Some of the local women will wear these beautiful, big, billowy, colorful skirts, but also bowler hats, little round hats that you might more typically see on an old-fashioned London businessman or, or something Charlie like Chaplin that. Has, Charlie has the Chaplin tramp. had a bowler hat. It's kind of an older style, but these women wear bowler hats. It's a really cool look. Now, though it is often called magical for its beauty, mm -hmm. the city, La Paz, also offers some real magic. Real How about magic? that? Yes, in the witch's market, you can buy love potions. Ah medicine that's claimed to cure any sickness and even revenge spells. Yes, love potions, medicines that can cure, can cure everything, and then also revenge spells. What's that place in Harry Potter, Diagon Alley, or wherever they go to buy their, their magic wands and all their magic stuff? That's what this oh. sounds like, the witch's market. You can buy magic potions to make people fall in love. You can get a medicine that is claimed, they say, will cure any sickness. If you've got a cold, if you've got cancer, if your leg just fell off, take this medicine and you'll be fine. And even revenge spells. What is revenge? Revenge is vengeance. It's when you get back at someone because they hurt you before and now you're gonna hurt them. It's the oldest fashioned way of getting justice. These days we'd get the police or get a lawyer and go to court. But back in the old days, you know, if one family fought and someone killed my brother, then I'd have to go and kill someone in their family. And that's the revenge that would settle the score and make things even. Of course, the problem is that revenge just leads to more revenge and nobody wins in the end. But that feeling of when someone did something bad to you and you want to hurt them back, you want to get revenge. Sounds violent. It does. It's generally Ugh. violent and often not healthy. Mm -hmm. For example, the woman swore that she would get revenge on her enemies. I'll get you, she I'll, was saying. I'll get you back. I'll get even. That's right. Anyways, these spells, these magic medicines, they may not work, but you'll certainly be spellbound while you shop. So yep. the spells won't work, but you'll be interested in what you're doing while you're shopping. You'll be spellbound. Right. Fascinated. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be back after this. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们在第一天的课文有介绍到，玻利维亚最热门的景点就是乌尤尼岩藻。它在雨季的时候会淹水，创造出像镜面一样的水面，把天空完全映照在水面上，被称为天空之镜。那 Mike 老师在开场的时候用到 reflective 这个字，它是拼作 R E F L E C T I V E。reflective 就可以用来形容反射的、反光的。好，课文提到说，在玻利维亚。
可以从事的活动，并不是都在野外。像在拉巴斯这个城市呢，它就融合了过去和未来。你可以看到豪华饭店就位于西班牙殖民风格建筑的不远处，然后你也可以看到商务人士穿着西装，而玻利维亚的原住民则是穿着五颜六色的裙子，还戴着圆顶硬礼帽。好，文中的 Native Bolivian 是指玻利维亚的原住民。那么 bowler hat 是指圆顶硬礼帽，也就是喜剧演员卓别林戴的那一种帽子。那我们再来看单字 luxury， luxury 它是形容词，形容奢华的、奢侈的。老师在讲例句的时候提到豪华公寓里面可能会有水晶吊灯，这时候老师说 chandelier， chandelier 就是指水晶吊灯、枝形吊灯。这个字是拼作 c h a n d e l i e r， chandelier。那至于补充单字 colonial， colonial 是形容词，形容殖民地时期风格的或是殖民地的。我们文中用到 colonial style 就是指殖民风格的。好，课文接着介绍到拉巴斯的女巫市场，这个地方很有趣哦。你可以在那里买到爱情药水，还有宣称能够治愈任何疾病的药物，甚至是买到复仇的咒语。哇，也许这些东西起不了作用，可是就会让人很着迷，忍不住想要买下来。那这边有一个单字 revenge， revenge 它表示报仇、复仇。Michael 在解释单字时用到 vengeance， vengeance 也可以指复仇、报仇。好，那么补充单字 potion， potion 表示药水，那么 love potion 就是指爱情药水咯。还有一个形容词 spell bound。Spell bound， 它表示入迷的，或是出神的，或者是被符咒镇住的。好，接回到课文中。Walking on the sky in Bolivia. Bolivia's de facto capital also features unique public transportation. At roughly 3,650 meters above sea level, La Paz is the highest capital city in the world. So forget buses. In La Paz, you can take a cable car to the top of the city. It's not just for fun, however. The system is one of the main ways for locals to get from neighborhoods at the bottom of the mountain to those at the top. Okay, let's read some more about La Paz.、Mm. Bolivia's de facto capital also features unique public transportation. So there、mm. you go. If you want to get around this city, you're going to probably be you're probably going to be taking a unique form of public transportation. It's going to be one of a kind. By the way, transportation. This word refers to how you get around. By the way, this word is a noun. Yeah, public transportation. If you want to get around Taipei, you can take buses. That's a form of public transportation. You can take the MRT. That's a form of public transportation. The list goes on and on. You can even take a taxi, though I wouldn't call a taxi public transportation. That would just be a form of transportation. It gets you around. It gets you from point A. To point B. For example, transportation around here is not as convenient compared to the big city. Oh yeah, if you're trying to catch a bus in the countryside, they might only have one or two a day. So let's look at this unique public transportation. We learn a little bit more about the city of La Paz in this sentence. It says at roughly 3,650 meters above sea level, La Paz is the highest. Capital city in the world. Wow! So it's very high. It's basically up on what we would consider kind of like a mountain. It's that far above the sea, above the ocean level, three thousand six hundred fifty meters high, roughly. We use this adverb roughly because we're kind of saying about, around. It's not exactly. It could be three hundred and sixty-seven point four, but we're just sort of saying three thousand six hundred and fifty. It's accurate enough for what we need to understand. It, it says it takes roughly four hours to drive to my hometown from here. If it's Chinese New Year, of course, it'll take longer. If I do it late at night, it'll be a little bit faster, but around four hours. So, what is this、uh, unique transportation system? Well, because of the elevation, apparently buses are out. So,、oh. forget buses in La Paz. You can take a cable car、wow. to the top of the city. Now, it's not just for fun. However, the system is one of the main ways for locals to get from neighborhoods at the bottom of the mountain 
to those at the top. Yeah, a hmm. bus wouldn't be able to scale a mountain, but hey, a cable car can do that. It'd be kind of fun to take a cable car to work every I, day. I think that, that would be very, very fun. Very interesting. All right, we'll take a break and then we'll be back with more from beautiful Bolivia. 玻利维亚的法定首都是苏克雷，不过它实际上的政府所在地是拉巴斯，所以拉巴斯是它实际首都。那我们可以用 de facto capital 来表达实际首都，其中这个 de facto。第一空格 f a c t o， 这是拉丁文，就是用来描述实际上的。好，课文提到说，拉巴斯有着独特的大众运输工具。那因为它的海拔大约是三千六百五十公尺，它是世界上最高的首都。既然这么高，就不用考虑巴士了。你想要前往城市的顶端，可以搭乘这个缆车。搭缆车不是为了好玩而已哦。其实当地人从山底的社区要到山顶的社区，其中一个。主要方法就是使用那个缆车系统。好，这边出现两个单字 ，transportation。transportation 表示交通工具、运输系统。我们可以用 public transportation 来表达大众运输。好，再来看 roughly。roughly 意思就跟 about 差不多，表示大约、大概的、粗略的。刚刚 Jeff 老师提到，因为海拔比较高的关系，完全不用考虑搭巴士到山顶这个选项。那这时候老师用到 elevation 这个字 ，e l e v a t i o n， elevation 表示海拔或是高度。老师还有用到 scale 这个字 ，s c a l e， 它有很多意思。那么 scale 当动词可以表达攀登或是到达什么什么的顶点。接回到课文中。Walking on the sky in Bolivia. Despite Queen Victoria's thoughts on the matter, Bolivia not only exists but also makes for a one-of-a-kind travel experience. It's definitely one place you won't want to skip. Okay, moving on. Remember, Queen Victoria once said, "Bolivia, you are dead to me." Well, she said, "Bolivia." You don't exist. You don't. It exist. doesn't exist. That's right. But of course, it does. It does. Queen Victoria was talking about Bolivia more than 150 years ago. So don't worry about her. Despite Queen Victoria's thoughts on the matter, Bolivia not only exists but also makes for a one-of-a-kind travel experience. It is a real place. And hey, if you don't believe us, go there. Yeah. They'll stamp it in your passport. And also go because it's great. That's another it's reason. It's great. It's definitely one place you'll want to visit. It's definitely one place you won't want to skip. Yeah, you don't don't just go there and go. Yeah, it exists, and then go home. That would be a that, big that, waste that of be, money. That would be a yeah. Yeah, that's a very Stay. bad idea. That's ha have lunch. That's definitely a bad idea. Right. Here we have the adverb definitely to talk about. Here, the word "definitely" means without a doubt. Okay, it's definitely a place you won't want to skip. I totally believe that. I'm totally certain in that fact. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Totally. For example, I will definitely need your help to finish this project. All right, let's look at our our question here. What makes Bolivia stand out compared to other places? What do you think? Oh. In Bolivia, instead、mm -hmm. of taking buses,、mm -hmm. you can take cable cars. Yes, and there's also the whole、uh, natural beauty part、mm. of Bolivia as well. When you're in Bolivia, you truly can walk in the sky. Absolutely, and La Paz is in the sky. It's more than three thousand meters above sea level.、It、might make it a little hard to walk around. You might find yourself getting tired. You'll have to get used to it. The、yeah. air is so、bit. thin. So there you go. Lots of amazing reasons. To go to Bolivia, and we've only had two short days in our article. I'm sure there are hundreds, hundreds more. So hopefully, we'll see you in Bolivia, but we'll see you back here soon for more great articles. Until then, bye bye. 看了这两天的课文，相信同学们都应该跟我一样很想要去玻利维亚，希望有朝一日真的可以去造访这个国家。课文最后说到，它绝对是一个你不会想错过的地方。那这边用到单字 definitely， definitely 就表示当然、一定或是确切地，它是当副词来用。好，那么以上是今天的讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny， 欢迎收看我们的文法单元。今天要介绍的文法重点
有四个。第一个是 on the matter， 第二个是 not only but also， 第三个是 make for 加名词，第四个是 one of a kind。好，我们先来学 on the matter。Matter 当名词可以指问题或是事情。On the matter 就表示关于这个事情，就这个问题而言。那我们来造一个例句。What's your opinion on the matter? 关于这个事情，你的看法是什么呢？好，接着我们来学。Not only but also. Not only but also， 它是配对连接词，必须用来连接词性相同的字词来表达，不但怎么样，而且怎么样。那连接动词的时候，记得时态要一致哦。例如 ，Amy has been to not only Green Island but also Orchid Island。Amy 不只去过绿岛，也去过蓝屿。好，那我们再造一个例句。Brad not only directed the film。But also starred in it. Brad 不但有执导那部电影，而且还在里面担任主演。好，那有没有注意到例句里面的 not only but also 连接的动词都是用过去式呢？那我们接着来学 make for 加名词。Make for 加名词，它表示成为、造就什么什么，或者是导致什么的发生。这常常用来表达某事造成或是有助于另外一件事情。举例来说。A picnic in the park would make for a fine afternoon. 在公园野餐会让下午时光变得很美好。好，那我们最后来学 one of a kind. One of a kind 指的是独一无二的、绝无仅有的或是与众不同的。那如果要把这个用语摆在名词前面，要加上连字号，写作 one of a kind。例如。That was a one of a kind fashion show. 那是一场绝无仅有的时装秀，它独一无二。每一个模特都戴着蛋黄哥安全帽在走秀，然后大家都趴在那边，啊，好累哦。好啦，以上就是今天的重点整理，我们下次见喽，拜拜。我是好奇，你好奇怪，<笑>那你为什么要跟我奇怪？安<笑>全。OK， so today's topic is 某人对你有意思。Oh, uh, 有人喜欢我吗 ？Yeah， yeah， 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 yeah。Probably not. <笑> Whatever.、Well, let's see. Let's check out the dialogue、oh. and see how we say this in English. All right. Added me on Instagram. Wow! It looks like somebody's into you.、Oh、Do you really think he's into me? He's so cute, isn't he? He's too cute for you. What? <laughs> <laughs> so okay, somebody is into you. Into. What do you mean, in, into? Because <laughs> into actually means to enter. So when you like one person, you will enter into that state. Oh my god, I like him. I want to be with him. Oh, you're always looking at him. Oh, you're so into that. So you can be into other things too. Yeah. I'm really into watching movies.、Mm-hmm. I'm really into eating stinky tofu. Yeah,、mm-hmm. but I'm not into you. What? Okay. Or <laughs> you could say this one's funny. Somebody has a crush on you. Crush. Yeah. Why do you want to crush? I don't know. Crush. Actually, the meaning is to put it on the ground. Hit it. 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 嗯哼，他没有到爱那么的浓烈，可是他就是很喜欢这样子。Mm. 对，所、so、以 I have a crush on you， 就是我喜欢你。That's right.、Mm. Okay, all right. So if you don't know how to say something in English， 靠我们就对了。Somebody is into you. Somebody is into you. Somebody has a crush on you. Somebody has a crush on you.